Do you think the Loch Ness Monster is real? And what do you know about the Silver Tuscan? Follow me on this episode to discover these big mistakes of the entire world. Maronaya, a family story behind a bottle. Hi guys! As you know, I'm Pietro from Podere la Maronaia. We are a family-run farm and we produce biodynamic and organic wine in San Gimignano. Some of our wine won also the Merano Wine Hunter Festival. If you want to learn all about the wine world, follow us and subscribe to the channel. Today, I would like to talk about the Super Tuscan, because in the wine world we have huge mistake about these kind of wines. So let's get see what are and how we can create. As always, a little challenge for you. You can guess which wine I'm drinking. As you can see by the color, this one, it's a red wine. But the things that you cannot see is that this wine, it's a little bit opaque. And it don't mean that the wine is gone, because this wine is good but it's just a little bit aged. So this one, it's a powerful wine. We can feel the body, we can feel the powerful. It's rich with a lot of, cher a lot of cherry notes, a lot of red fruits, but even leather and tobaccos. And he have a little kick of spicy notes in the finishing. So a little bit of pepper. You can guess which wine is this one. I just make it simple, it's one of these three. What are the Super Tuscan? This one is our main question. And to answer to that, I have to clarify what are the classification for the wine in Italy. In Italy, we have three kinds of certification. DOCG, that means Denomination of Origin Control and Guarantee. The, this certification goes in the most important Italian wines. DOC, denomination of origin control. And after we have the IGT, indication geographic typic. In the first two, we have a lot of rules of production. The rule starts with the planting of the grape till the bottom. The last one, so the IGT, is where the creativity of the farmer takes his place. Because in this certification we have more freedom, we have more chance to play with different materials, with different technology and even different lands. So here where the Super Tuscan came out. Officially the Super Tuscan was born in Bulgari. Bulgari is a part of our coast. This wine that they don't have a real category, they don't have a real name. In fact, was called Super Tuscan. That's just a commercial name created to identify these wonderful wines. Soon, this wine was developed and produced all around Tuscany. In fact, nowadays one of the wine of the region that produces more Super Tuscan is the Chianti area. In fact, we consider that in the Chianti area we have the 50% of production of all the Super Tuscan. Of course, to produce this wine, we always have to be in Tuscany. So you cannot go out of Tuscany to produce these wonderful wines. So the Super Tuscan nowadays are the best wine of the farm. Is where the farmer take his creativity and they develop their unique products. During my video, I always talk about the nature, I always talk about sustainability, but another and very important part of the wine world is the soil. That's why in the future I will make also a video just talking about the soil and how the soil impact on the flavor of the wine. Another important thing is the blend. Officially, once the wine, this wine was born, we always, they always use the Bordeaux grape. So we have Merlot, we have all the French grape to make this wine. Nowadays, and once we start to be part of our tradition, we always blend it with native grape. So the, right now, the Super Tuscan are blends with 
Bordeaux grape and Tuscany grape. But as we don't have rules of production, as we can play and we can make whatever we want to make this wonderful wine, we can even use only a native grape. So we can find 100% Sangiovese, call it Super Tuscan. We can find 100% Merlot, call it Super Tuscan. We can find 100% Cannaiolo, call it Super Tuscan. Because we don't have rules of production. This wine at least should be aged in a French oak barracks. But, as I told you before, we don't have rules of production. So we can age in the French oak or not. All our Super Tuscan are aged in the French oak. These two are even fermented in the terracotta jars. So we try to give innovation and tradition and we, find, we try to find a big compromise. So guys, this one, it's all for the Super Tuscan. As you understand by this video, the Super Tuscan are very wonderful wines, but they are all different because the approach that the farmer and the producer have to this wine, it's all different. The general rules for the production is blend with native grape and French grape, age in a French oak, but we, are, we don't have to respect it. We can even play with all the things that we have in our mind. The only thing that we cannot change is that the Super Tuscan could be made just in Tuscan. And they are the best wine of the farm. The, the wine that the farmer feel more his babies. So, I hope you like the video. If you like it, as always, thumbs up and share it. We see you next one. Meanwhile, I wish you happy tasting. But before closing, you are here to more to, for two more things. The first one, you want to discover which wine I'm drinking. And the second one, what is the Loch Ness Monster? So the Loch Ness Monster is a mythologic creature in the folklore of the Scottish. We don't know if it's real or not. Probably yes, probably not. Someone say yes, someone say no. I like to talk that it's real. And here on my glass, I have one of my favorite wine. This one is the wine that my parents dedicated to me and my brother. And this wine is the Pico. It's a 50% Sangiovese, 50% Merlot. Is the third wine that we made once we start our production in 2000. So I'm so connected. I have so a lot of emotion about these wonderful wines. Also because my parents dedicated to me and my brother, and I have it's a part of my story. It's a part of my life. And the only thing that I feel when I drink this wine, it's all the memories. It's all the all my memory, all my emotion when once we start this journey. Once uh, when I I was a kid and I played with my brother in our garden that was totally destroyed because the house was destroyed. And I know I am a little bit romantic, but this wine for me is so important and I definitely love it. So guys, I hope you like the video. We we'll see you next one. I wish you happy tasting. Bye.